Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Do I look like a homeless guy that's just stole a Ridgeline jacket? Yes, I do. I've been flat out scanning sheep and I didn't get a video out this week. Wednesday, Saturday. Try and keep it consistent. Get the videos out. I failed this week. So, you have this video today, Saturday morning, and I'm going to put another video out tomorrow morning of me doing my bail-off challenge after I was challenged by Joanne D. Shearer, Joanne Devaney. Follow her YouTube channel. She does a lot of sheep work as well. She's like an all-round maverick also. So thanks to Joanne for that. I'm obviously a poor sheep farmer, apart from the fact I'm wearing a Ridgeline jacket, but that was a gift. So I don't have much experience of opening bales. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Bit of fun. Loads of people have been doing it. Looks like a laugh. We'll try it. I managed to find a slot in my schedule to fit it in. It also makes for an easy video for Sunday. So we'll get that out to you on Sunday. Morning sometime, hopefully. Anyway, this video today, something very different than what you're used to. There's some cows in it. I filmed this back in September and never really got it concluded because of being busy and locked down and various things. So instead, I'm just going to conclude it from my chair here with my backdrop of whiskey. Now, I'm not showing off that I've got a few bottles of whiskey. It's just that I'm going to quickly show you how messy my kitchen is. You ready? My kitchen's such a mess. This little corner is the only bit that I can really put on camera. So, watch the video, guys. Click the subscribe button if it tickles your fancy. We just passed 9,000 subscribers yesterday. Amazing. Thank you, everyone who's subscribed so far. Things are moving really well, even if I'm getting really slow at putting the videos out. Work harder. Here's the video. I haven't clipped a cow's tail since I was 15. F yeah, about 15 years old. So that's half my life ago. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Although not today. Today, I'm clipping cows' tails. Now I'm thinking, Cammy, I'm only here to see sheep. That's why I followed the sheep game. But stay with me, guys. It's not going to be a, a regular thing. It was a beautiful connection made over Instagram where someone said, you fancy a crack at something a bit different? And I said yes. And that's brought us here to this dairy farm in Ayrshire where I'm going to clip 200 cows' tails. And who is the person that made the connection? Eugene here. Some man, big sheep fan. Yeah, sheep fan. Oh, number one. <laughs> <laughs> big sheep fan. So he's watched the vlog and he I contacted via the Instagram page, the sheep game. And he said, actually, it tricked me a little bit. They said, fancy doing a bit of clipping. And I said, aye, I'll do a bit of clipping. <laughs> so I phoned him and he says, aye, it's 200 cows' tails to clip. I thought, you know what, he's got me on the phone now. He says, you know, fancy a crack. Cornered. It. It's cornered. It was hard to say no. So I said, yeah, and here we are. We're going to get into it. 200 odd cows get milked here. 240. 240. Uh -huh. And milk twice a day. Twice a day, yeah. yeah. What kind of cows is it? Uh, Holstein Cross Region. Holstein Cross Region. Yeah. Is that the most common type of dairy uh, cow? Well, most, uh, Holstein is the most common. Yep. Now, I'm, I'm asking these questions because I know nothing about dairy. I know the basics. I know they're milked twice a day. It's put, They're reared on. You see the cows here? Look at lush grass like this. I'll show you them better in a second. Um, they're reared on incredible lush grass. They're coming in. They get a little bite of cake keep them going and keeps them coming into the parlour and they produce milk that we all drink and enjoy in the shops. Who's your milk go through? That first milk Nestle. First milk Nestle and what will most of that milk be used for? Kit Kats. Kit Kats? Yep. Making Kit Kats. So the milk here goes to milk make Kit Kats. Yep. So there you go. Never even really thought of that myself. The milk here is going to make the Kit Kats that you love and enjoy. Maybe you do. I don't know many people that don't like Kit Kats to be fair. Kit Kat a day keeps the doctor away. There you go. There you go. What a salesman. What a sales pitch. Keep the milk flowing. So, yeah, we're going to get into this here. As I say, contact me. 200 cows to milk. I'll talk a little bit about why I'm clipping the cows' tails and show you some of the cows and what we're doing as we go through. How long have you been milking cows here? Uh, two and a half years here. Two and a half years here. Come over from Northern Ireland. Yeah. And how's this compared to Northern Ireland? Bear uh, I have a lot, have a lot of Irish fans. I know you do. Uh, you see, I see a lot of <laughs> Irish fans, so... Uh, no, it's good. No, it's, it's good. good. Plenty it's of scope. A bit big, yeah. Maybe easier to get started up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More scope and more access to land. More access to land. Now, a lot, of, a lot of you guys. I know there is not a lot of Northern Irish boys that watch this. And one big thing, and uh, you know, speak to Eugene about it as well. I'm sure, and a lot of other Northern Irish farmers I speak to who come over here, is the massive differences that the land is so much cheaper here. 
compared to over there, that'd be right. That's right, yeah. Four seal arm for him. So Eugene started in this bit here two and a half years ago, building it up, obviously working to what he's increased his numbers from how many cows did you start with? 88. 88 cows up to this 200 that we're going to get into today. I don't really know any other dairy related questions to ask. I think I'm, I've spent my, daily, my dairy knowledge asking those brief questions there. So let's get into it. Eugene is bringing them up the race here. They will run up this race here. And I better come back and control the head yoke. They come up the race. And I work, I work this lever here. They walk forward. So the first question, why are we clipping the cow's tails? And that's a simple one. I'll explain it first and I'll explain some other things around about it. These tails get dirty. That's a process of the cows. They're eating the best possible grass that you get in farming. Like it's well known fact that dairy cows are on the best grass and they need that to produce lots of milk. Now this cow's just been milked so our vessel's not as full as it was obviously this morning. But these cows are producing how many litres a day? 35 litres a day, farmer tells me that. 35 litres a day, so they need a lot of grass. They're obviously getting a bite of cake when they come in the parlour as well. So with, with that powerful grass, it's quite high in protein. Is that fair to say? Uh, yeah. It's quite high in protein. I suppose it's, if any of you, I know I've done it, maybe on the protein powder, maybe take a wee scoop extra, I think that'll make your muscles big, but it ends up just running right through you. It's a similar idea. These cows are on such a strong, powerful diet, that it comes through them pretty fast and comes out what you call it skitter. So that causes, just gonna be a bit upset there because I keep touching her tail unnecessarily. That causes the tails to get dirty like this. And what happens this time of year, it's getting more into winter now, the ground's getting wet, it's getting colder. These cows will be coming inside now for the winter where they can, the temperature's controlled, the environment's controlled. They get a steady ad-lib feed supply. And what happens, the process of that is they'll sit in their stalls, they get nice rubber stalls to sit in, but their tail will sit in the muck when they sit down and when they're skittering and it gets very dirty and then when it gets dirty, as you can see she's doing right there just now, they'll lash their tail about and the tail will come down and it'll flick here and it'll get their udder very dirty and also the teats very dirty. Now the teats are cleaned every time this cow's milked. The teats are soaked, dipped, cleaned off before the suckers are put on and the milk's taken off. And then once they're finished, she also gets a wee disinfectant dip on the teats just to keep the job right. But it's very difficult to clean all that muck off properly if it's been caked on by essentially a brush. So we take this off, cleans the cow up, and we don't have that problem. And you see she's whipping that about now. No big dirty bush on the end. To get her other dirty. Just what we want. And that's it. As I said, I didn't film a good conclusion like I usually do with my videos. So I hope you enjoyed it, something different, short, sharp, sweet, and I look forward 
to doing this bail challenge and getting it out to you on Sunday to see what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.